Growing up in Argentina, my birthday was like my own personal Christmas, my own personal birth of the Son of God. <laughs> but like most straight white boys born in the early 80s and raised in the 90s, and in many ways like God himself, I was very insecure and angry, which is why I really needed that validation that comes during the 30 seconds when everyone sings happy birthday. For a moment, it's all about me, and they're celebrating that I'm still alive. I know that I am, and before my 10th birthday, my best friend didn't know that about me. My best friend is Mariano Bernardi, but he's my best friend in the same way that Bart Simpson and Milhouse are best friends on The Simpsons. And like in episode two of season eight, he only moved twice. <laughs> we became friends when I basically asked him, do you have a best friend yet? Because I've been looking for someone to boss me around. <laughs> that was the, the, the dynamic of most of my friendships when I was a little kid. I'm the youngest of seven children, and I was born 11 years after the sixth one. I've always been a big, spoiled baby, a naive mama's boy. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> Mariano, on the other hand, pretty much like Bart Simpson, is the biggest prankster I know, a lifestyle he chose when he realized how much power he has over people and how much they follow me, him in whatever he does. Being a typical boy from Argentina, the same things happen at my birthday party every year. First, my friends and I play a game of soccer, and then I blow out the candles on a cake shaped like a soccer field and decorate it with tiny soccer players playing a tiny game of soccer with a tiny soccer ball. It's the best. <laughs> but on my 10th birthday, while everyone is singing happy birthday, Mariano's is a great chance to use the F in feliz, which ironically means happy, even if he didn't plan it like that because he's too young still to be that evil, to blow out my candles a little bit every time he sings, feliz. A couple of our friends notice how fun it is and join in on the fun. I'm starting to lose my grip. I'm about to let my rage loose, but I control myself. I just flick the frosting on the cake a little bit toward Mariano, and I lock eyes on him to tell him with my gaze, don't ruin this for me. Stop it. Don't you know it's Christmas? It's at that moment that time stops for a second, and Mariano understands what my birthday means to me. But in his endless Machiavellian mind, he decides to stop and come back with more, but just not now. I mean, it's not like he decided to stop out of sympathy. I know him. He's not going to get go off an opportunity like this. Mariano always goes for the kill. <laughs> once, once, he won an argument with another kid in our school when he shouted, well, at least my godmother didn't fart on TV. That, that kid's godmother was a famous aerobics teacher on TV in Argentina. Kind of like if you crossed Richard Simmons and Jane Fonda here. <laughs> One day, she was on a TV show doing some class and she let loose a toot. And immediately ran off camera in absolute shame. A golden moment in Argentinian TV and the end of her career that she cannot find on YouTube. And then her godson made the mistake of starting an argument with Mariano. One of those childish arguments that are basically roast battles where you read the other one to filth, but while being 10. <laughs> that haircut makes you look like Mo from the Three Stooges. Oh yeah, well, you play soccer like an amputee. <laughs> and then Mariano went in for the kill. Well, at least my godmother didn't fart on TV. <laughs> he always goes for the kill. I know Mariano is coming back on my next birthday for more. The song ends, I blow out the candles, Christmas is saved. <laughs> then I spend the rest of the year until my next birthday obsessing about him doing it again next time. We go to every other birthday party in our class together and I never see him do it. Will he do it in mine then? Maybe he forgot and that's why he's not doing it to everyone else. Does he just want to do it to me? Should I maybe blow out someone else's candles and see if he joins me? I'm, I'm terrified. I can't bring it up to him because he'll confirm how I feel and use it in his favor. 
All I can do is wait in silent fear and prepare myself for the worst. I can let my rage out even a little bit. I must roll with it, being on the joke with him, and have fun. If I get angry, he wins. That's how pranking someone works. It's not to laugh with them, it's to laugh at them. I, I don't make the rules, I wish I did. I think Mariano might have been involved in making the rules to mock and prank people. He knows those rules very well. <laughs> in the days leading up to my birthday, my anger is showing up more than it should have. Uh, one afternoon, I was playing soccer at school and I got in an argument with a kid and decided to punch him with my left hand, even though I'm right-handed. <laughs> the result was me with a broken wrist and the other guy laughing at me. I wish someone in his family farted on TV. <laughs> a couple of weeks later, here we are again at my birthday party. I'm turning 11 and the process repeats itself. The only difference is I'm wearing a cast on my left arm. I play the same game of soccer with my friends and then there's a cake shaped like a soccer field decorated with tiny soccer players playing a tiny game of soccer with a tiny soccer ball. It's the best. <laughs> and there stands Mariano like last year, right by my side. And when everyone sings, Feliz, there he goes again. <laughs> Feliz, even more than last year. And everyone joins in with him very quickly. He knows exactly where to hit me. It's my Achilles cake. <laughs> like a fool, I try to play along and I laugh a little bit. I already showed them anger last year. So I laugh once. <laughs> they keep doing it. I laugh twice. <laughs> They're still doing it. I laughed three times. <laughs> and nope, they're still doing it. It's going to have to be rage again. I, I was sure that if I laughed with them, they'd stop doing it. It's, it's not fun to ruin something for someone if they're having a good time. I have no game plan. Being in on the joke was all I had. Time to improvise. Without thinking much, I slap the cakes off the candle and I start pounding it with both my hands, particularly the one with the cast. <laughs> Everyone stops singing and the entire room is in awkward silence. <laughs> All you can hear is one of my friend's mom who is with the camcorder screaming, what is he doing? <laughs> After hitting the cake a couple of times, I lift it up in the air and I throw it on the floor really hard. <laughs> then I storm off to the bathroom to cry in absolute anger and shame. Mariano wins. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> this event haunted me for the rest of my life, and every time my friend, whose mom was taping the birthday party, told me that he had shown this, the video to someone new and that it was still hilarious to everyone. <laughs> I never got to see it. It was never hilarious to me, honestly. And then along came the internet where videos of angry people go viral and make them famous and give them validation. 25 years later, my friend was able to digitalize the video and send it to me. I never thought I'd see it, but there it is. Me, my birthday soccer game slash cake, and everyone blowing out my candles with Mariano leading them. It's funny when you see something you remember in the first person seen from the perspective of someone who was witnessing it. It looks much more insane than it looked from my side. <laughs> awesome, the internet will love it. This is my chance for redemption. One of the lowest moments in my life will now be a funny video that will go viral and will turn the situation around for me and make me a modern hero. Of course, none of that happened. Barely anyone saw the video, very few liked it. No one shared it. And the very few that commented on it were friends that I made as an adult saying things like, this explains a lot. <laughs> I didn't become a viral sensation. No one cares and neither should I. Today I'm still the same insecure kid, but I've been working on letting my anger go. I'd love to say that it started with that birthday, but it took me many, many years of smoking weed and my wife telling me that to have kids with her, first I had to go to therapy and treat my anger. <laughs> and three cats and two human children later, I can say that everything's coming up, Millhouse. Mariana and I continued to be friends the rest of our lives. We eventually started playing music and were together in many bands and we even danced together at his wedding. And I'm happy to say that he has also been going to therapy to become a better version of himself, despite the fact that he quit music to become a lawyer. 
<laughs> With time, I stopped caring about my birthday so much, but I still totally understand if people really, really love theirs, and uh, I understand why it might help anyone feel a little better about themselves, you know, remembering you exist and you are still here and people love you. So if you are one of those people out here tonight, let me be the first one to tell you, Feliz Navidad. Thank you. Frank Trainer.